Did you know that the amazing world of Gumball has made appearances in a famous cartoon featuring a team of superheroes? This happened in an episode of Teen Titans Go! called Kicking a Ball and Pretending to be Hurt. This episode was the 20th of the third season of the team led by Batman's sidekick, Robin. In this episode, the most clueless team of heroes begins to transform into various types of cartoons to fight a squirrel that stole their cereal bowl. And in the midst of all the chaos, they watch an episode of a cartoon that is actually a parody of Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. But instead of Wile E. Coyote, there's a somewhat greenish cat with a round hip, and in place of the Roadrunner, there's a purple fish. Sure, you might think the cat doesn't resemble Gumball much, but that speedy purple fish is identical to Darwin, making the reference to the amazing world of Gumball clear in this Teen Titans Go! episode. <laughs> And this isn't the only time Gumball appears in Teen Titans Go! And we'll soon tell you about another episode that also references someone from the Watterson family, because there's even a Gumball reference in a Rival Network's cartoon. To find out who it is, just stick around until the end of the video, because we've gathered 10 cartoons where the amazing world of Gumball appears just to tell you. Uncle Grandpa. Speaking of cartoons with wacky characters, we have an appearance by Gumball himself in one of the zaniest cartoons ever created by Cartoon Network. In the twelfth episode of the third season of Uncle Grandpa, in a short segment between parts of the episode, we see a simulation of Uncle Grandpa presenting an award similar to the Oscars. And when we look at the audience, we see that various famous characters from popular Cartoon Network shows are present to witness the event. One of them, seated near one of the Uncle Grandpas on the presentation stage, is none other than Gumball. But if you look closely, it's not just any Gumball, it's the Gumball from up to the second season, as the character underwent some minor changes throughout the seasons. At that time, Gumball had more oval eyes, which later became more rounded. OK KO! This is a crossover episode that Cartoon Network created involving various current, older, and even much older cartoons from the network, like I Am Weasel and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. At a certain point, Kaio and Ben 10 perform a combined move, and during this moment, Ben activates the Omnitrix and begins to transform. However, instead of changing into aliens as usual, he starts transforming into various cartoon characters. At one point, he transforms into Uncle Grandpa, and then, for a few seconds, he transforms into Gumball himself and later into Mordecai from regular show. It was quite brief, but it's certainly a cool appearance by the protagonist of Elmore. Gravity Falls So far we've seen references to the amazing world of Gumball only in other Cartoon Network shows, which is quite expected. But what if I were to prove that there's a huge reference to a Gumball episode in Gravity Falls, which is from Cartoon Network's arch rival, Disney? What's even more interesting is that this supposed reference occurred in the very last episode of Gravity Falls, which aired on a significant date. So pay attention, because it's important. February 15th, 2016. In the relevant scene, Dipper and Wendy are engaged in a vehicular pursuit with Gideon and his gang of troublemakers, chasing them in a Mad Max-style road fury. They begin to pass through some bubbles created by Bill, the one-eyed demonic triangle. The detail is that these bubbles cause a distortion of reality, as if they transport and transform the people who enter them into alternate versions according to that reality. This is very similar to the episode The Job, in which the simple fact that Richard got a job as a pizza delivery guy causes severe distortions in Elmore's reality, merging parallel universes, and guess what? This results in the characters inside a car during a chase changing versions multiple times, as they are in different realities with each meter that Richard moves to deliver the pizza. The scenes are technically identical, but with different characters and different appearance changes, but the idea is undoubtedly the same. This episode of Gumball was released in 2012, as it was the eighth episode of the second season four years before Gravity Falls. That's right, folks. This happened and even stirred up quite a bit of controversy among cartoon fans at the time with accusations of plagiarism. But everyone said it was pure coincidence. But was it really? Feel free to share your opinion below, whether you think it was a copy of Gumball's idea or if it's just a coincidence. We'd like to hear what you think. In the special crossover created by Cartoon Network with the show Villainous, we see Dr. Flug, one of Black Hat's henchmen, who is the owner of the organization that trains villains. One of the analyses during the Villains 2000 telecourse is titled Lost Cases of Elmore, and it specifically focuses on the biggest villain in the Gumball series that we know, Rob. 
They delve into the reasons why Rob failed miserably in his revenge so many times. So he is taken to Black Hat's organization's villain camp, where he undergoes intensive training to become a better villain. Uncle Grandpa 2 Returning once again to the Uncle Grandpa show, we find another quick appearance of gumball characters in this utterly nonsensical cartoon. This appearance takes place in the episode Transition Effects, where Uncle Grandpa and his friends visit the video editor of their own show to have a chat with him. In the professional's office, if you pause the video quickly and look at the wall, you'll notice a distinctive poster. In fact, there are two posters, one of Gumball, quite large, and a smaller one of Darwin. Aside from discovering that the guy who edited Uncle Grandpa's show preferred Gumball over Darwin, we can also deduce that he might have worked on the editing of Gumball as well. But it's definitely another cool reference to the amazing world of Gumball. South Park South Park is an adult-oriented cartoon, but the amazing world of Gumball is so popular that it made an appearance there once. This happens in the episode, The End of Serialization as We Know It, the 10th episode of season 20 of the show. In it, Sheila, the mother of one of the main characters Kyle, and his brother Ike, goes through the internet history of the two boys. We see many references to various YouTubers and well-known games, like PewDiePie and Minecraft. But there's also the amazing world of Gumball! This shows that even in the South Park universe, both kids and adults enjoy gumball, which is quite significant, especially if they aren't making fun of the show, as is typical in South Park. Teen Titans Go! Returning to the most hapless team of heroes in history, we see that they're not just fans of pizza, but also fans of the show created by Ben Bukele, the creator of all the fantastic characters in Gumball. This second reference to the show, specifically to Gumball, happens in the episode Cat's Fancy, when Starfire moves in just to become the crazy cat lady. And, in addition to dozens of cats in the house, we see a rug on the floor with the huge face of a blue cat. And who is the most famous blue cat on planet Earth? That's right, it's Gumball! So this is another clear reference to the show once again. Very cool! <laughs> Villainous, again. In addition to Rob, another resident of Elmore has appeared in the Villains 2000 telecourse by the Black Hat organization, but in a much older version of the course, created many years before Rob participated. The character who took the course is none other than the most powerful being in all of Elmore, Nicole Watterson. However, we see her as a teenager, accompanied by various villains in a class that appears in the Lost Cases of Boxmoor. Dr. Flug mentions that he doesn't remember why she never completed the course, but a flashback makes it clear that she did so because she beat up Dr. Flug himself when he was younger, and she probably got expelled but she had the potential to be a great villain. <laughs> ben 10 Since its debut in 2005, the Ben 10 franchise has seen several versions, but there is one thing in common among them, the villains are usually the same. One of the most menacing and challenging villains for Ben to defeat is Zumbozo, the maniacal and terrifying clown who bears a striking resemblance to Batman's Joker. In one of the episodes of the latest Ben 10 series, with a slightly more child-oriented style and storytelling, we see a scene in which Zumbozo is driving a car and says, What the what? This car is amazing! And this is one of the most iconic lines from the Gumball Show's dubbing, which is almost always used by the main duo. What the what? What the what? So we see yet another reference to the show, this time one that almost no one noticed, but we did. These were the 10 appearances of Gumball in other animated shows. Gumball is so cool that he appears in the most unexpected places, with references even on a rival network. <laughs> and because we don't want you to stop having fun, we've selected two super cool videos for you to watch. Afterward, come back and tell us if they were as good as the one you just watched.